and welcome to the Drunken Spear Tabletop Gaming. We have the Star Wars Black Series, Phase 2 Clone Trooper Helmet, and then we have the um, Somali of Art, Phase 2 Animated Clone Trooper Helmet, and then we have the Somali of Art, Phase 2 Realistic Version. And we're going to give you a comparison of all three of these helmets. So we're going to start out with the Black Series helmet. Now, as you notice, the Black Series helmet here is much shinier. It has a shiny finish to it. As opposed to the Somali of Art models, they have um, your weathering. They're, they're a dull white. They're more of a dull white. And um, I think that the dull white, I don't, I don't know if, I, they call Clone Troopers shinies for a reason. They haven't gotten their armor dirty yet, and they haven't worn off that glossy finish. And that's the way that I've always taken it. So, I feel like if you want a brand new appearance like you're a shiny, then this is the way to go. Um, the Black Series helmet is a phenomenal helmet. Let's dive right into this guy. So, when you look into the inside, the inside is heavily detailed. There is a lot of detail on the inside. Uh, what looks like wires and in the very top there is what looks to be similar to a hard hat suspension to help hold it onto your head and the way that you get that off is as you reach up inside of here and you grab that portion and you pull it and it should pop right off let's see here let's see if I can get it to pop yep popped right out there's what holds this onto your head, right there. So when it's off, you can take it, put it on here, and adjust it to where it fits you. There is no adjustments in the Somali of Art helmets. It's one size. They don't have any kind of rig inside of there to make it fit your head right. So you're going to have to either A, make one yourself, or um, try, to, try to rig something inside of there. Like the Cody helmet, I had to take a pad and I had to put it in the back to make it to where that helmet was wearable because when I would put it on, the Cody helmet's much bigger. It would fall forward and it just kept falling forward. So the pad was how I fixed that. So let's get this size to my head here give me a little bit of room and the way that you size this thing is is that you just it just pulls apart and you've got these things here and then they just poke into the holes and, and that's how it's you can size it and it, it's an easy it's an easy system very easy system So this is going to fit a very wide variety of heads. As opposed to this, not so much. So that's something to take note if you're looking between the Black Series and the Smoley of Art. Uh, the Smoley of Art might not fit you depending upon your head size. Um, let's go ahead and put this piece back up in here. And it just snaps in real simple like. Boom, much easier to snap in than it was to take off. If I can see, yep, there we go. Snapped in, and we'll put it on. Now, one thing to note with this one, the head motion is pretty good. I can feel it on the back of my neck, so wearability is, is it's pretty good. I, I think the wearability is really, really good on this. I know looking up is kind of hard. This is about as high as I can get my head. Sideways is pretty good, and it fits nice. There's plenty of room from my, my actual face to the front of the helmet. My nose isn't pressing up against anything. It's not uncomfortable at all. Not at all. So, let's try on this Somali of Art helmet, and we'll show you the inside. This is the animated sinker 
phase two. Now with this one, my nose goes right up against this glass right here. And my head doesn't have much room. I can feel this helmet pressing on my forehead and I can feel this helmet pressing on the back of my head. Um, my back, I can't look, the looking up is about the same as it was on the black series and the side to side is about the same. Um, being that it brings it more to my nose and the helmet's more up against my face, I feel like my field of view on this is much better. However, if your head is slightly bigger than mine, you're going to have a hard time fitting this on your head. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Boost. This is the realistic, the clo it would be Somali of Arts, um, closest thing to this helmet here. Now if you look at this, there is a big size difference. This is a much bigger helmet than this. Can you see the size different on camera? I'm not sure if you can or not, but this is a much larger helmet than what this is here. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this guy on. Okay, so the same story with this. My nose is pressed right up against here, and I can feel the pads on the front, and I can feel that there's not much room on the back. The looking up is about the same. The turning is is about the same. So, again, I feel like I can see better because the glass is pressed more up against my face. However, if you have a larger head than my own, and I'll have to, at the end of the video, I'll get you my head size so that you, you can make a uh, uh, an educated decision on which helmet would be best for you. So this helmet, again, we'll put it back on. You know, the field of view is not bad, but being that it does sit more forward, I can see, I can still see really well, but I feel like it's about the same, really. It's just not like right up there. So I can see more of the inside of the helmet and stuff. This is a very nice helmet. I'm actually super impressed with this thing take a look at the back that'll really show you the size differences the scale there this is a much thicker overall piece as opposed to these which you know it kind of makes sense because when you're trying to fit all that stuff on the inside and all your inside detail you're obviously going to have to have a much larger outside shell to compensate for your inside detail. Now I do feel like the first round of helmets that I bought they were perfect. They were absolutely perfect from Somalia of Art. However the second round that I bought I felt like some of them were a little bit rushed. So if I can say anything to that company they do a phenomenal job. I highly recommend their helmets, I do. Um, however, I feel like they need to take their time and make sure that they're, um, you know, because on the inside of some of them you'll have some rough pores where there's like some, some edge lines. Uh, this helmet back here is actually an example that I can give you. This uh, Barks uh, speeder bike helmet. Um, if you look, you can see where there's some kind of like they're not really sharp, but they, they are sharp. They won't cut you, but there's some bad pore lines there. And that's kind of going to be hard to see. I'll show you later on camera at exactly what I'm talking about. And let's check out. These have no sound capabilities at all. The Black Series does have sound capabilities. And let's... The way this comes apart here is you grab the back and you pull out. And then you need a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew this thing. And it takes three 
triple A batteries. I happen to have three in my pocket. Hopefully they work. I pulled them out of my wife's remotes yet once again. Yep. Yep, it seems to work. Put that back on there. And again, I've got the Stormtrooper helmets, and they have the uh, the voice distortion thing, and it's just, it's not something that I'm impressed with. I mean, it's great, you know, for like, my boy, my boy would love that. But as far as for me, not much. Now, I don't know, I don't know what you can hear, or if you can hear this, but... It does distort the voice, and I don't feel like it gives me any kind of clone trooper sound. It really, to me, gives me a robotic type sound. And I'll come closer to the camera so that you can hear this. So, here it is with the voice changing. Um, the way you activate the voice changer is over here on the side. You would press the button, that turns it off. Press the button again, and that turns it back on. Overall, it's not something that is a make or break for me on whether or not I would get this helmet over that helmet. As far as details go, if you look at the details, um, you can see that to me, the fins on the top, they feel like this one's much bigger, which makes sense because this is a bigger helmet. If you take a look at the... Um, the sides here, where those are uh, the lines on the helmet, the stripes, those are stickered on, which another thing that makes me think that, you know, these helmets were kind of rushed was these stickers are kind of coming up on the corner. So I've got to figure out how I can pat them down and get those to where they won't come off. Um, also, another thing to note is this back, like, knob on the back with the... Uh, uh, the minus sign, this one is much, much larger, and if you can see, you have these on the outside of it. Now, I don't know if that's accurate, the, like the going around the circle here, and they're actually indent, indented in, and there's a hole there. I'm assuming that the speaker for this helmet is right back here. That would be my guess. Because these up here, they're just plastic. They don't appear to be functional at all. I could be wrong on that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then, obviously, the um, the markings here, these are engraved into the helmet. And, and they're recessed down. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. So, the big question is... You know, you have obviously your weathering, your paint job, uh, which is phenomenal. They, they did a great job with the weathering. This thing is like a brand new clone right off the assembly. Um, I don't know what you think. T take a look at me with this one on and how it looks proportioned to my body. Turn sideways. And then give you a look at the Black Series. To me, the Black Series helmet, it seems a little too big and unproportioned to my body. So personally, 
if I was going to pick a helmet, I would have to go on what I could afford. If I could afford a Somalia Vart helmet, that's probably the route that I would take. Um, I am impressed with this. It's far better than I anticipated. The Stormtrooper helmet was really good, too. I think what really gets me with this piece is the size, how much bigger it is. Um, I feel like it's very, very disproportionate to my body. I feel like it's pretty big as opposed to this guy. I feel like this would be more realistic to how the helmet would be, more of a, you know, not as bulky design. But, hey, that's entirely up to you. That is my opinion. And, you know, that's, it, it's nice to have both of them, really, but sometimes that's not always possible. You can't beat this thing for the price, though. The price is, is decent. Um, if you want a clone trooper helmet, it is far better than some that I have seen. Um, some of them are really, really bad. And this piece here on the front, yeah, it's it's in there, but it, it's not. I feel like the Somali of Art helmets, these pieces down here, they did a better job with that, too. Well, in my opinion, you can't beat the Somali of Art helmet. I'm not endorsed by them in any way. I have to pay for their helmets out of my pocket. That is just solely my opinion. I really want to get an Anovos helmet here down the road if I can. Uh, sometimes those sell out and you can't get a hold of them. But a Anovos clone trooper helmet is one that I'd like to get my hands on and re review. And then there is another Russian company um, called Cybercraft, I believe is their name. And I'd like to get a clone trooper helmet from them as well. And be able to compare them to Smoly of Art. Um, I know one of the things I've seen on their website with Cybercraft is, is the inside they have a liner inside. You know, a liner really, nobody's really seen the inside of the helmet. That's not really that big of a deal for me personally. Um, and then again, remember, if you take with Smoly of Art, you know, they have the animated. There's not the details. You don't have the details on the side. The... Uh, the blocks here are a little bit different. Obviously, your front piece, you have a difference here. Your, um, I need to figure out what these are called. But this piece here is different, and this piece on the uh, the, the mouth there is also different. Uh, the back is different. It's more of a plain, um, plain helmet. But they're still awesome. For some reason, uh, I enjoy the animated ones just as much as I do the movie actor ones. Well, with that, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this gives you some information. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments, and I'll answer them the best to my ability. And with that, have a wonderful day. God bless. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is definitely a size difference in person. And then the front of that helmet and the front of this helmet. The Black Series is much heavier. That's something to note than this one, uh, the Somalia of Art version. Um, the Somalia of Art, their helmets, the weight varies. Some of them are heavier than others. And you will definitely notice that if you order multiples. Um, I think the, these are all handmade. And the way they pour their resin casts into their mold, and depending upon the coverage I'm assuming they get, will determine the weight of them. So obviously the more resin that they are using, the heavier the helmet will be. And like I said before, you can take a look at the mouse here. There's like a see-through mesh in the mouth of the Somoli of Art. And when you come over to the Black Series, you can see where it's a hard plastic. Take a look at the front area down here. And then go over to the front area of the Smoly of Art one. Um, I'm really 
<clears throat> really leaning towards the simoleovar in those areas as well. And then the side of the helmet, you can see the paint detail and the paint application and the uh, the uh, button there or whatever that thing is exactly for, I'm not sure. And just kind of the detail and the depth of this here. There's more depth there. And as you come over to the Black Series helmet, you don't quite have that depth. But then again, you also have to figure that this is a cheaper helmet by $131 for this plus shipping as opposed to $250 for this plus shipping. So there is a different price. There's a, there's a big price significance there. Um, the back and then the back of this one you have you can see the there's some details in there that I don't think you can see on camera but I think you can kind of can't really pick them up there either it's kind of difficult but you can kind of see that they're they're about the same however the Smolia of Art is a dull finish as opposed to a shiny and then obviously you have the button here on the back which is much larger on the black series and there's holes and things that are in the helmets um, in my opinion and I said it before if I could afford the Somalia of art it's the one I would go for I feel like it is the better helmet now durability I'm unsure on that I wouldn't want to drop any of them However, I feel like if I was to drop this guy, the Black Series, I feel like I could drop him and he'd be all right. He wouldn't break. The Somalia of Art, I feel like if you drop it, you're probably going to break it. 